And speaking of the wise men, I did visit the Beijing Temple of Confucius, which is quite interesting as well. Consisted of four courtyards and stone carvings all around. Book yourself a trip to enrich your understanding of China's past, if you haven't done so yet. Now to Shanghai, where about 100 Persian miniature paintings are now being showcased at the Shanghai Art Collection Museum. The free exhibition gathered pieces belong to different museums in Iran and are being shown to celebrate the 50th anniversary of bilateral relations between China and Iran. Let's take a look. Persian miniatures usually refer to small paintings on paper. But over time, artists started using boxes. It is a courtly art with exquisite colors and meticulous attention to detail. The style reached its apex from the 13th to 16th century and was mainly a form of illustration. One of the examples is the illustrations in Shaname, or the Book of Kings, an epic poem written by Ferdowsi. One of the exhibition's co-organizers says artists started to depict the scenes in the book as the book itself was very important. Ferdowsi, which is our great poet, he, with this book, tried to revive the Persian language because Iran is the country with lots of invasions from the neighbors, you know. He kept this language alive by using 30,000 stanza of the poetry in order to keep pure Persian words alive. So that's why the miniaturists, they start to imagine the uh, battles that Rustam, who was the heroes in this epic literature, to bring it into a uh, miniature form as well. So if you look at this one, you can see one of the uh, battles, and here we have the poetry, the poetry from uh, Ferdowsi. While most Persian miniature paintings depict scenes of royal hunting and Persian mythology, as the form evolved, artists started focusing on animals, relaxed youths and lovers as subject matters during the Safavid period in the 1500s. Among the most celebrated artists of this time was Reza Abbasi. A Persian language and literature professor at Shanghai International Studies University says she is glad to see these artworks in China. There is a museum in Tehran with a specific collection of Reza Abbasi's work, but I did not have the chance to go when I was in Iran. Now I get to see it here. Miniatures were most popular during the Safavid period when Abbasi lived. I'm also surprised to see such a large amount of miniature works covering various eras, styles and themes. Organizers say this is the first exhibition of Iranian miniatures in China, and they think it's a good way to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the establishment of relations between the countries. Persian miniature painting was listed as a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage last year. The exhibition is free and will run until February 27th. Zhang Hong, ICS for CGTN, Shanghai.